So, there are a group of illegal migrants in central London protesting and complaining outside one of the hotels that have been given to them by the taxpayer. And then we now have Richard Tice, the leader of Reform UK, who decided to go outside the hotel and talk to these migrants. This is the most passive aggressive and sarcastic interview ever, uh, but in a very polite and British way. <laughs> Watch this. Well, here we are. I'm standing outside the Comfort Inn on Belgrave Road in SW1 Pimlico, the centre of London. And I'm here with Dia. Dia, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for talking to me. So tell me, what's going on here? Why are people sleeping out on the streets? Where have they come from? Yeah, these people come from another hotel and this hotel is not good, actually. So they've come from a hotel in yeah. in, uh, in S Ilford, Essex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. I see. And so, but they don't like this hotel. Yeah, yeah. And why do they not yeah. like this hotel? This hotel is not good, really. It has too much smell and... Too much room, smell? Yeah, and the room <laughs> is very small. They wanna... Oh, too, uh, the room is too small. Oh, no. The room is too small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they want to put four people in one room. That's not fair. Four people. At least you have a room. One room. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. in Ilford, how many people in one room? Two. Two people. Yeah, yeah. And do you have your and own bathroom? Big rooms. Yeah, big yeah. rooms. Yeah. Nice rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very nice. <laughs> it's very nice. Very bad. It is very bad. In the center of London. Small, room's very small. Bathroom too small? Yeah, too much. Too much. I'm so sorry. So bad, so bad. About that, that's really really shocking that the bathroom is too small. <laughs> but do you get nice food here? Yeah, no, food is bad. Food, food is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're happy with the food? That's nice. That's or we, maybe we'd get you better food. Would you like better food? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Food's, food's okay. Okay. And what about uh, you get mobile phones? Do you get, you get? They give you a phone. Phone. Yeah. You get a mobile phone? No, no. No, no phone. No phone. Do oh. you have Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is it good or too bad Wi-Fi? Shocking, I'm so sorry. I love her. Oh, shock, I'm so sorry. We should get you better Wi-Fi. Are they complaining about bad Wi-Fi? Are you kidding me with this? You have bad Wi-Fi? That's not good, is it? If you've got bad Wi-Fi. And how long have you been here? You've been on the streets here for how many days? This is two days. Two days here? Yeah, 40 people. 40 people? 40, yeah. Right. Staying this road you know it's yeah. very bad maybe people sleep so i don't understand this they, they're complaining about the rooms being too small so they're sitting outside the hotel and completely disrupting the, the peace in public and it makes no sense what's going on right now and one of them they go to us he go to hospital yeah. he goes sick cold he know? fell sick and yeah, cold yeah, yeah. What the, and because so you're sitting where outside of you where do you come from um, come from yeah you come from Iraq. Yeah, yeah. And you've been here how many years? Two years. You've been here two years, living in uh, Ilford in Essex. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And who's been paying for you? You get you get a weekly um, allowance? They, they, the, the government give you a little bit of weekly money, is that right? Give eight pounds for one week. And in here, this area, everything is expensive. Everything's expensive, yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. so sorry about that. It's central London. It's it's an expensive city. You, it's one you don't have to be there. I don't know. <laughs> one week, yeah, eight pounds. So you get eight pounds a week, yeah, yeah. plus food, plus accommodation. To be fair, if you get food and accommodation, then, you know, eight pounds, it's probably okay. If you're just waiting for your application to be sorted, it's probably cheaper to go back to France, I guess, at this point. You get free Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi is a bit slow. I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> we'll try and see if we can help. And uh, you've been here two years. And who's been paying for this? Ah. Government. government and who pays the government it's the british taxpayer yeah so it's 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 all of us yeah so we're all paying and clearly we need this sorted out wow i mean with this many people will be quite happy to be in central london wouldn't they yeah oh my god this is bad hotel yeah yeah should i go and talk to the manager yeah Maybe I'll go and look at the rooms, check, check out the rooms. Yeah, yeah check out the rooms. Man. Yeah, okay. Wow. Well, look, Diane, thank you so much for talking to me. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. thank you. I mean, it's astonishing what's happening right now in our country. It's absolutely crazy. So we, we have British people right now waiting for housing on the waiting list. Uh, they're homeless. They're hungry. The, the inflation is still high. The cost of living crisis obviously is still going on. But now we have this problem. And people might 
look at this and be like, well, it's only eight pounds. It's not really just eight pounds, is it? Firstly, how many migrants do we have? Secondly, you got the cost of the hotels. You've got the cost of the food that they have and everything else on top of it and security and all this around us. And now we are thinking that, well, what we should do if you listen to Jeremy Hunt, for example, well, we need more migrants in this country. So we'll, we'll, we'll just bring in more economic migrants and we're just going to hope for the best that they will contribute more than they'll take back. And now we have the cost of illegal migrants and there's a massive backlog. And Rishi Sunak's policy is to simply go through the backlog and then more people will come in and more people will be processed. Keir Starmer's policy idea is to call Macron and say, can you please stop sending your people here? As if he's going to say, yes, yeah, I'm going to go arrest all the people, smugglers. British people here, we're still spending all this money, our money on this project. And we're going to have the election. And considering we're not going to get much different policy ideas from any of the mainstream parties, unless they allow Suella Bradman to do her job, which is unlikely. So I, I, I don't really even see Suella surviving until the next general election. She, she might even resign uh, in, in anger. But can Rishi Sunak actually sort this out? Do they actually want to sort it out? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.